Esta es una llamada de todas las unidades de la ciudad de Miami. Добро дошли у Йош еден факат подкаст. Данас ќе те гледате нешто стварно, чудно. Ове се сцени кои се дешавале у Америци протекли пар дана. А во главно улози се ни мање ни више него. Нека бича која не се луѓска. Лајкете видео и преплатете се на канал на тај начин поддржите рад. И идемо видете што се дешавало те мистеризни ноќи у Мајами. Esto es en Bayside ahora. Dakle, priča ide ovako. Još jedna obična blaganska večera u shopping centru Miami. Ljudi bezbrižno kupuju i vesele se sa svojima. Na jedan pot svi ti ljudi, masu tih ljudi, jer znamo da su shopping centri krstiti za blagdane, dakle, masu tih ljudi u stilu stampeda počinje trčati prema izlazima shopping centra i sumano to bježi od... Pitam vas čega? Jer poslije u medijima je policija objavila da je naguravanje i cijeli ovaj kaos nastao zbog tuče tineđera. Točnije zbog tineđera koji su palili, citiram, petarde. Da je zbog tih tineđera došao u oliko veliki broj vozila. Da li vam je možda nešto čudno? Jer znamo da se u zadnje vrijeme sve više i više vijesti objavljaju oko UFO-a, ali čujemo na sve strane da imaju sve više i više prikrivanja te zateškavanja. Postoje teorije i da su se za vrijeme ovog svega dešavale neke druge stvari. Ili u prevodu skretanje pažnje s nečega. U ovom eventu je čak bilo i dosta svjedoka, za koji pričaju da su kasnije morali brisati slike i mijenti izjave. Navodno je nestalo struje u cijelom tom području. Navodno je čak 60 tisuća kućanstva ostalo bez struje. A iznad samog shopping centra je proglašena zona bez leta. To je zaista čudno. Pogledajte ovaj video i sami procijenite da li mislite da je moguće da je u Majamiju tu večer bilo nešto stvarno čudno. To je da li mislite da su u Majamiju tu večer bila neka bića koja nisu bila ljudska. Poslušajte što ima za reći ovaj svjedok koji je navodno bio na mjestu događaja. I'm posting this, uh, save this video, post it on other platforms before it gets taken down. Because I want to clear up some of this misinformation about the Bayside Mall incident that happened. Um, so me and my girl was in town, and we were shopping at the mall, and we noticed a lot of kids there. Um, it wasn't a real big deal at first until they got to arguing and shoving, and then like they started fighting, running all over the mall, chaos just all over the place. Works, but either way, that caused everybody to start rushing for the doors. Uh, people was leaving stuff behind. I mean, we looked back and we noticed some weird shapes taller than me. I'm six foot two, shadowy, dark, solid shapes, not human. I promise you, these is not human. I mean, it made the hair stand up on my skin. Uh, and shit, we just booked it for the doors after that, man. I can't explain what that was. I can't say that was aliens, but I, I can't say that, sh that was not human. It was not human, and they online. I don't know if they're trying to cover this stuff up, but they saying that it was uh, police officers and and somebody not shadowy figures. It's 2024, man. It, it's something going on. It's something going on, and they trying to cover it up. A lot of people saw what I saw, and like I say, it was so much chaos ensued that it was it was just hard to to to, to let that sink in that we was realizing what what we looking at. I mean, it's something, something you can never even create in your head in a dream. Um, I'm putting this out there though, man, because I want people to know that this this stuff is real. Get, get this out and spread this. And if you were a person that was there and you saw what I saw, please put this video out because they trying to cover this stuff up, man. They don't want us to, to tell the truth. And I got a good feeling this video will be taken down. So, don't listen to the media. This shit is real. And whatever it is, they do not want people to know about it. I can't even, man. Of an alleged alien attack in Bayside Mall. Neki medi su išli toliko daleko da su čak i prenjeli da se desio vanzemanski napad. Blood the Mall can be seen in this video. 
Surprisingly, this is the first time that we're seeing information come out in videos like this several days later, with some witnesses coming forward claiming to have seen 8 to 10 foot creatures that line very much with what we saw in Las Vegas before. Of course, the media is giving us a little bit of a different story, however, even they can't decide what story to land on. With some claiming it was a fight amongst teens, a fight amongst teens with sticks, teens setting off fireworks in the mall, uh, uh, but no one can exactly agree. Some even said it was gang-related, multiple gangs fighting, but no one has actually solidified what went down. With some media outlets even using an edited tweet of an unconnected fight later in the evening, supposedly later, the fight that they are using in representation did not even occur in the mall or at the same time. While on the other hand, we have anomalies appearing on camera that seem to match the description of 8 to 10 foot tall creatures. I would love to see the dash cam themselves coming forward to say that there were aliens in the mall. We, had, we happened to be at that mall, so um, we had Foot Lock or whatever. Next thing you know, you start hearing all this commotion outside, sound like fire, like firecrackers or something. So, I, you know, I originally thought that they were shooting. Next thing I know, it's like crazy. Like we just see all these people running. Like out. Like I'm not gonna ask no questions. We just gonna follow the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like we trying to we trying to follow the follow the crowd. Get out of there. I look back. I look back. No cap, yo. No cap. I look back. It looked like 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 a big ass shadow, but it was solid at the same time. Like a few like a few shadows, but they were solid at the same time. And them, it's, it almost looked like they was coming our direction, like they was chasing us, but they was disappearing and reappearing closer. So I'm like, yo, what? So we start really moving. Now, does this not... Cijela priča postaje sve čudnija i čudnija, a navodno su neki svjedoci i snimali ovo čudno biće. No sve ovo posljednjih dana je nekako zataškano. Međutim, da li postoji teorija da su oni htjeli da mi gledamo u vanzemaljice dok pod navom neke oni nama iza leđa rade neke druge stvari? What's stranger still to me about this is that we're getting witnesses coming out saying it's ten, eight to ten foot creatures. Not just this guy um, talking, but people writing in, tweeting in, writing into the media. And the media is still talking about this fight. However, we have footage of an anomalous thing happening here. We have quotes from the suspects saying they were so scared for their lives. Most of them did not pull out their phones because they saw these creatures and they were running. Here in the video, you can see people running and you can see spotlights. This does not look like it's for teens fighting in the mall. Now, here's the thing. We're not getting any video from inside the mall. And that's what's wild to me, but it matches the account of them not pulling out their phones. Like I said, like I just said, I'm sorry, I'm just blown away by them not pulling out their phones because they were scared from their lives. Because if it was teens fighting... or teens rioting, or teens throwing off fireworks, we'd have video of that. And not video of outside hours later that's unrelated. Video from in the mall, because that's the world that we live in. We see stuff like that, and it gets recorded all the time. That's why we always see these videos of these riots and these kids acting crazy outside. So why not this time? Stranger still is that there were talks of NDAs, and now even this person deleted their video. There was a young lady at the mall who also made a video who that I had watched, and I was going to actually include that video in this video. However, she also deleted her video, um, and there were two statements that have officially been redacted. So what exactly went on in the mall? People, again, people were talking about NDAs. I, I they're saying that the area blacked out. Um, some said that the airport shut down, but it actually didn't. But there was a no fly zone over the mall. Something major happened at this mall, and whether it was an alien, which or just some form of anomaly, um, I I don't think it was kids fighting in the mall. I don't think you need sixty cop cars, helicopters, searchlights. Uh, no, um, I 
I don't think it was kids fighting in the mall. I don't think you need 60 cop cars, helicopter searchlights, a no-fly zone at a mall for teenagers fighting at the mall. That just makes no sense to me. And why are these people redacting their statements and videos getting deleted? And we have no video from inside the mall at all. Now, because these videos are getting deleted, I will leave you guys with Sosa Pippen's full video so that you guys can decide for yourselves. Smash that like, subscribe, and share, and check out the membership options um, for awesome perks like early access to all videos. Yeah, because I, you know, I originally thought that they were shooting. You know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, some type of um, gunfight had broke out, whatever the case is, because, you know, we're not familiar with Miami. We're not familiar with the city. So I'm like, damn. I ain't even got my blick, so you know what I'm saying? We about to we about to we about to swerve. Next thing I know, it's like crazy. Like we just see all these people running, like, you know, uh fat, fat, fat chicks. Esta es una llamada a todas las unidades de la ciudad de Miami.